DJ already took a bite, so what do you rate it? What do I rate it? Yeah. You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door, the girl next door. The stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door. Hey you guys, it's Yaya and welcome back y'all gang and today I am back with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a cooking with me. I am going to be making some Chica Alfredo pasta. This is one of my favorite dishes to make. It's so easy. Literally it takes like three steps. So right now I am boiling some pasta. Like, let's wait. You can't see. It's like so bright. But I was boiling some pasta. And now I'm boiling, uh, boiling some water um, so I can clean the chicken. So this is a chicken. My grandma cut it up for me. My grandma's here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so here's my chicken. And we're going to season it after we clean it. But this is the pasta we're using. We went to Walmart and then we got the three ingredients. And then we are like, okay, let's come home and let's eat. So we just used this pasta. They picked it out. And then the sauce. And I got some other things from, wait, from Walmart that I can't wait to cook. Let me show you guys. Well, it's just this one thing, but it looks really cool. It's these little treated cinnamon sweet swirls. I love cinnamon buns, especially this brand. I remember they used to be at the mall and they were absolutely busted. They are so good, so I had to get them to see if it's the same thing. And then I got some bread sticks, garlic. This is my brother's favorite bread. He really wanted me to make it. But that's what I'm gonna be doing today. That's what we're gonna be eating for dinner. So. Um, while everything is kicking, I'm gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. Well, I mean while everything's boiled, because I'm gonna have to cook it. Um, my grandma's gonna taste test it, and she'll give you guys her right later. So I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so now my grandma's recording me. <laughs> Hi. Sit, no, sit up tall. Somebody. <laughs> okay, so right now we have the chicken. This is the chicken, and now we're gonna add it to the bowl. The bowl. My grandma cut it and she cleaning the fat off. So, so now we're gonna add some salt. Not a little, just a little bit. Don't add it all. So like, you know. Why are you doing Can't see everything. Okay. So now I'm gonna add some vinegar. So, okay. And now we're gonna add all the hot water and we're just gonna let it sit for like a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna wait like a few minutes. This is it. Wow. And then when it's finished, we're, um, I'm gonna clean it and, and then season it. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll see you guys when I'm about to season it. Okay guys, so this has been sitting for a while and now I'm gonna drain it. I drained the pasta because it was like, all the water is like about to go away. So, just gonna take some water out. And now, we have to make sure all the sauce is out and everything. Just to make sure everything is extra, extra clean. So. Now let's season everything. We're gonna season the meat with some dash flavor original, complete seasoning, onion powder, um, cayenne pepper, and garlic powder. So these are usually all the seasoning I use. So this is how I season my food. So you can get a little shot. Okay. But it's not getting your hair. Oh, okay, so we're gonna use dash. It's only a little bit, so I'm just gonna use all of it. It's finished. So maybe the next time we go up and get some some onion powder. 
No, just a little bit, because my brother is upstairs and he doesn't. <laughs> this guy is up there. Um, because my brother doesn't like um, spicy food. <laughs> so to say, complete seasoning. I oh, I was like, I'm kind of doing it last, but garlic powder. Now we gotta make sure everything is seasoned, so we're gonna put it on the other side. So let me grab my, cause we're not doing it. Now we gotta stir it, and we also kinda have to do the bottom half, because one side can't be seasoned, and the other side is just basic and plan. So, wait, wrong side. Okay. I, had a I didn't add cookie season, but I prefer any garlic. Oops, my bad. But now we're gonna stir it all together. And when it is stirring, come on, come on, let's move. Now, over here we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna add like that so it can cook faster. <laughs> this is Alaska, the last pot I used. Maybe we're not extra high, because it's like a big pan, so it might take a long time. But let's just stir it around. So now, we're gonna wait until it is popping and lock, hey, look at here. We're gonna wait until it's popping and locking, and then we're gonna add the, Chicken. Pollo. So, huh? Pollo. <laughs> it does smell like pollo. But now I'll see you guys later. <laughs> hey guys, so the oil is now being hot so I can literally smell it. But I'm gonna add it like this because I don't want to get hot. Okay guys, so we're gonna like cook until it's like golden brown. And then when it's, everything is like ready, we're gonna add the sauce and the pasta, stir it together. And then I'm gonna serve the, my best food. And you you guys should probably make it, it's really good. It's also really easy. All together, the cook time is like probably, I'd say 20 minutes, right? Yeah, I'd say 20 minutes. So, Comment down below if you haven't tried this before, and if you have, what do you rate it? Um, the first time I made this was like, I think I saw it on TikTok, and I was like, I really want to make this, and then I did, and then it was absolutely wonderful. So I just started making it again. So I don't think I ever made a video on this. So I'll see you guys when the chicken is almost done. Okay, guys. So the chicken is finally. It's been done, but I let it overcook just for like two minutes. So now, since it is done, I am so hungry. We are going to mix everything together. So let's add our pasta. Okay, now time. I did it. Come say hi. Hi, 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 game. She was trying to hide. So now. <laughs> she to watch Wait. Okay, now we're gonna add the sauce. I'm gonna sprinkle some. That's a lot. Okay. I usually. I can add, do the rest? Don't add the whole bottle. I'll tell you when to stop. There's not many you can do. You turned it all the way over. <laughs> well, I guess you can like. You can add that. Maybe we can add more. Now, let's stir everything all together. So we're gonna stir everything together, then I'm gonna give everyone their plates. And you bread them? Um, I forgot to do bread. <laughs> I'll make the bread later. But, sorry, um, sorry. I'm gonna do this and I will go, I'm gonna make the bread and I'm gonna let them taste test. So we'll see you guys when everything is ready. Okay, you guys, so the food is ready and I'm about to show you guys, so. 
bright. It's so bright. Look, so we finished making the breadsticks and the pasta. Now, okay, who went? Okay, DJ already took a bite, so what do you rate it? What do I rate it? Yeah. An okay. 8 out of 10. Okay. This that's... is not the best we made it, but it's good. Not the best? You uh, made it better? Yeah. Oh, you like it? Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? 8 out of 10. I'll do a 9. Okay, now it's time I've never for had it before. Now it's time for me to rate it. I'm gonna eat some with the chicken too. Excuse me. Mmm. I think this is the best I ever made yeah. it. I don't know what you're talking about, DJ. I think you put too much sauce. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I didn't put enough sauce. And it's not even, it's kinda spicy, so it's good. Everything that's spicy at least. It's always so spicy to me. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10. Last thing, because it's my food, but it's actually really good. Wow. Oh, Louis. Louis is like right there. No <laughs> way. I literally gave the food over there. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below if you want more cooking with me. I saw a lot of you guys um, DM saying what I should make. And I'm going to make them really soon. I just have to get some ingredients and I have to look up the ingredients too. So I want you to follow my Instagram, Yai Panton, add me on Snap, Yai Panton 63. And I will see you guys in the next video.